Okay, so hi everyone. In the previous video, I have discussed about um, defining the market focus. Okay, and we have discussed about the different types of markets, the new, the existing, and the resegmented na markets. Okay, and now we are going to discuss about segmenting and selecting the right na market. So what do we mean by market segmentation? So in the market segmentation, we are divi dividing a broader na market in two distinct groups of buyers who have distinct needs, characteristics, or behavior who might require separate products or marketing na mixes. So market segmentation is a strategy that businesses use to ensure that their products or services are properly targeting the right consumer base. So Experts would say that the market segmentation, when applied correctly, would is mainly just um, understanding your customer needs and therefore how they decide between one product or offer and another. Okay, so the basic na concept of uh, market segmentation is that uh, there will be consumers who may want the same product but have different needs, and based on this. Um, businesses or companies or startups are able to focus on the needs of each individual by employing different na strategies. Okay. And then, so companies can then uh, use the market segmentation strategies um, in order to divide a total market into individual na market groups or the market na segment and focus on targeting these uh, segments. Okay, so how do we define a market segment? So market segmentation is a strategy or a process, but um, market segment, on the other hand, is a group of consumers who respond in a similar way to a set of marketing efforts. So in the earlier in the process of marketing segmentation, you divided a market into different groups of buyers who have um, common needs or characteristics or behavior. And after doing that process, what you will have will be the market na segments. Okay. Now, what is target marketing on the other hand? Target marketing is the process of evaluating each of the market segments that you have identified and identify or determine its attractiveness and selecting one or more segments to uh, enter. Okay, so after uh, market segmentation, we select the market. Uh, we do market selection based on the segment's attractiveness and tailor our marketing strategies based on it. Okay, now, um, how do you uh, do? How do you do um, segmentation or market segmentation? All right, so there are uh, different... Na major na market na strategies that we can employ. So that would be the geographic segmentation or demographic na segmentation, psychographic as well as behavioral. So when we say geographic, we are mainly focused on the where aspect. For the demographic, it should be the what aspect. Psychographic, who are we selling the product to or who, who is going to use the product or the service? And behavioral would be focused on the how. Okay, so these are some, um, these are again the four types of market segmentation the geographic, demographic, psychographic, and the behavioral. So, um, in the geographic no market segmentation, so of course there will be cultural differences, as we mentioned here, it is focused on the where. Okay, so there will be cultural na differences between people in different na geographic locations. And uh, what you can do then is to tailor your strategy based on these cultural na differences. So the geographic market na segmentation makes na division based on geographical uh, units, including continents even, or nations, or regions, or even your zip code, city, country, population density, or distance from a certain location, climate, time zone, dominate na language, etc. That uh, or any other na, um, aspects that are related to geographic. Okay, and what about for the demographic na uh, market na segmentation? 
So the marketing experts can also use the demographic na, uh, variables. And these are basing strategies on the characteristics of the consumers. And this will give the company a or a business a better opportunity to meet the needs and wants of specific people in the market. So what are some dem de demographic now uh, variables that you can make use of so the or you should look into it could be the age or the gender the income occupation family size race religion marital status education um, ethnicity ethnicity and so on and what about for the um, psychographic na market segmentation so it this uh, segmentation strategy on the other hand is based on the belief that a person's personality can influence what products they are interested in. So according to a university in UK, this type of segmentation works for um, image-based products like say, let's say the cosmetics or jewelry or clothing or cigarettes, then alcohol, mobile phones, etc. So um, some examples of this would be looking at the values or needs or um, goals, pain points, hobbies, personality traits, lifestyle, interest, political party, sexual orientation of a person, and etc. Okay, so what about the behavioral na segmentation? So the behavioral is based on the behaviors, of course, of your customers. So you could look into their purchasing habits or the brand interactions, spending habits, customer loyalty, or actions taken on a website, etc. Okay, and let's have an example. So imagine that a car manufacturer um, that produces a wide range of vehicles from compact cars to uh, luxury SUVs. So how can they effectively target their customer base? So they could employ market uh, segment segmentation strategies. And here's some example that they could segment their market. So for the demographic segmentation, the company may divide the market based on the demographic factors that we have mentioned earlier. And for instance, they might target young professionals with higher income levels for their luxury vehicles, but uh, or uh, while offering more affordable and fuel-efficient models to college students or individuals with lower income. And they can also make use of the psychographic segmentation. So this approach focuses on consumers' lifestyles, interests, values, as well as personalities. So the car manufacturer could then segment the market based on the lifestyle factors such as um, outdoor enthusiasts or eco-conscious consumers or tech-savvy individuals. So for example, they could tailor their marketing campaigns to appeal to adventure seekers by highlighting off-road capabilities and rugged, ruggedness in their SUV na models. Or they could also make use of geographic na segmentation. So what the company could do is to um, promote, let's say, a convertible uh, sports car in a warmer coastal na region. So as you can see here, it is um, taking into consideration the geographic na location as well as the... Uh, the um, the characteristics of those locations. Okay, so they could promote convertible in a sports car in warmer coastal regions and prioritize all-wheel drive SUVs in snowy, mountainous na mountains. So this segmentation would be useful if certain vehicle models are more suitable for specific climates or terrain. Okay, and lastly for the behavioral segmentation, so this would be look, uh, this would mean that you have to look at your uh, consumers' purchasing behavior, usage patterns, and brand loyalty. So since you are working on a car na industry, so you could segment the market based on factors such as uh, usage frequency or brand frequent, uh, preferences or the importance of UL na efficiency. 
So for example, you could target a frequent na travelers with um, hybrid or electric vehicles, emphasizing their fuel savings and uh, environmental na benefits. Okay, so by employing the market segmentation, um, the car manufacturer then can tailor their marketing strategies, product features, pricing, and distribution channels to effectively meet the needs and preferences of different customer segments. Okay, so this approach would enable them to maximize their market potential and gain a competitive edge by delivering targeted messaging and offerings to specific customer groups. So the more specific the target segment that you have, so and again, you can make use of the um, those uh, segmentation strategies that we have mentioned earlier. And the better the chances of success for a startup. Okay, next would be after um, identifying your market segments, then you, you can now ask this question, how attractive is your segment? So how do you choose the or select the uh, right na customer base to focus your marketing efforts on? Okay, so market, market segment um, attractive, attractiveness refers to the desirability of a specific na segment within a target na market. So it would be assessing the, um, the potential, the potential of a market na segment to generate uh, sales or profits or growth opportunities for a, a business. So when you evaluate the attractiveness of a marketing uh, a market segment, it would also help you to prioritize your resources and focus your efforts on segment that offer the best or the greatest na potential for success. So you can look at the size. So this is one of the very important na aspects uh, or the important na factors that could contribute to attractiveness of a market segment. So um, you ask this question, how many customers are in your target segment? So the larger in a segment generally offer more sales and revenue opportunities compared to smaller ones. And usually what the business do, business, businesses do is to target segments with um, a significant na customer base just to ensure that there is enough the demand for their products or services. And you can also look at the growth na potential. So what is the expected growth of that segment? So it is also very crucial for long-term success. And what usually businesses do is to select um, those segments that show sign of expansion or have um, really large na opportunities for growth. And what are some factors that you can look at? So it could be um, population growth or changing customer na preferences. Or maybe it could be because of emerging trends or new technologies. So this can indicate um, a potential for a segment to grow in the future. And we also have the profitability. So in the profitability, you can ask, how much can you make per transaction? So it is a very important na consideration when you are assessing a market segment. So um, you can assess um, a segment's purchasing power or their uh, willingness to pay premium na prices or you can assess the overall na profitability na um, potential. Okay? So segments that offer higher na profit margins and lower costs of acquiring a uh, acquiring and serving customers are often deemed more attractive. Okay, so you can also look at um, look into that. So higher profit margin, but lower in acquisition cost. Okay, and then lastly, you can look at the um, competitive na intensity. Okay, the competition. Who are you competing with? Who else is who or who might be attacking this market? So the level of competition within a market segment um, also influences its attractiveness. So um, those segments that are highly competitive 
may pose challenges for business to um to differentiate their features or differentiate their services in order to capture the market share. And uh, if you are able to assess the competitive na language, uh, language, sorry, the landscape or um, the competitive na barriers for you to enter and the, as well as um, competitive na advantages, so you will be able to understand the segments na attractiveness. So there are other uh, factors that you can consider like the um, fit with a company's capability or accessibility. So fit with company's capability. So the suitability of a market segment to a company's capabilities and resources is also very uh, crucial. So it is important in or, uh, for you to assess uh, your startup or your ventures, whether you have the expertise or whether you have the um, resources or you have the uh, correct na distribution channels to effectively serve and uh, meet the needs of your particular na segment. And also the accessibility. So factors such as geographical na reach or maybe the availability of some um, distribution channels or um, communication channels. So this will also attract or, or um, will also impact the attractiveness of a certain no market segment. Okay, so if uh, there are reachable na segments, then that would allow you to um, make better na engagements. Okay, so of course, it is important to note that the um, attractiveness of a certain na market may vary depending on uh, the service that you are offering or your product that you are selling. Okay, or it could vary depending on the business objectives as well as more specific circumstances. And it's important for you to evaluate these factors and uh, to conduct through market research to identify and prioritize the most attractive segments to allocate your resources to. Okay? So when you are uh, measuring your market size, not just um, analyzing the needs of your customers, the need opportunity, the value prop, and then the competitor analysis, but you also have to um, evaluate the market segment and the target the market. So that's all for this topic.